Why stand as independent? I, I thought you might stand as a Conservative. Yeah. Over the over the years, I've been approached by both Labour and Conservative, um, and I'm, I'll be totally honest with you. I was actually approached by the Conservatives this time, um, and it took quite a bit of soul searching on what to do. Um, and at the end of the day, I felt that I'd rather represent the people of Stamford first and a political party second. And I think as an independent, I can do that. Um, I, I, whilst there is a certain amount of freedom that councillors are given when they, when they um, stand for a particular party and are elected for a particular party, um, I didn't want to have that fear of being told how I should think, um, other than by the local residents. Um, and I think that's why, at the end of the day, I've decided my best role would be as an independent. So you turned them down, they didn't turn you down? Um, it was six of one, half a dozen the other. I um, actually got um, made the candidates list, but was told that I possibly wouldn't get, and wouldn't get, Stanford the Oak West. Um, so they, they thought, let me get this right, they thought Eddie Hardiman, and maybe this is a question for them, who had to stand down in the wake of Winegate, possibly could be a better candidate than, than Terry Piccolo, Civic Award winner, Bastion in the community. Maybe that's a question for them, I guess. I, I think it is, yeah. I, I, and I say, I think at the, uh, uh, at the end of the day, um, I made my point to them when they interviewed me that I was only interested in, in representing Stanford Hill West. I wasn't interested in representing the Conservatives anywhere else in the borough because I don't live anywhere else in the borough and I don't know what those local people want um, and at the end of the day that's what's more important to me is be able to represent what local residents want freely and without um, any shackles placed on me by any particular borough.